difference between Ayurveda and Siddha and allopathy is just this. Allopathy is purely chemicals, chemical manipulation of the system. When it's an emergency, you must use it. But if it's a long… you know, if it's a chronic ailment which is going to be with you for a long time and you're going to take some medicine for a long time, definitely popping pills for long periods of time is not a good thing. So Ayurveda is herbal. Herbs are also chemicals, but in natural form. It's way better than taking it in a synthetic form. Ayurveda needs a certain amount of application and knowledge because there are over three hundred thousand, okay, three hundred thousand Ayurvedic formulations according to the ancient texts. Three hundred thousand formulations you have to understand if you have to really prescribe Ayurveda. So, uh, prescribing or practicing Ayurveda is a… it needs a lifelong involvement. These days I see people come from outside the country, they study Ayurveda for one and a half months and uh, they're certified Ayurvedic teachers or doctors, practitioners, which is a very dangerous thing to do. Three hundred thousand formulations, how to give it, whom to give it, when to give it, it's not a simple thing to understand, it takes a lot. Above all, you need a phenomenal understanding of the body to be able to prescribe this. Siddha is very different in the sense, Siddha is essentially elemental in nature. There's… there are herbs, but essentially it's elemental in nature. It comes more from the yogic science because the fundamental of yogic science is in Bhuta Shuddhi or in cleansing of one's elements. This is an evolution from the yogic science and Siddha Vaidya was essentially formulated by Agastya Muni and they say Adiyogi himself practiced it and Agastya brought it to the south and only in the south it lived, nowhere else.